Johnny's dumping everything. Thank you, Johnny. Well, that was a hard shell suitcase. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm a little tired today. That was a hard shell suitcase haul right there. Looking real strong. The big old Deasley, I think you pronounce the name Deasley or Desley. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, uh, that one. Anyway, I got the carry-on one, left the huge one. Again, I have so many hard shells. The red one was beautiful though as well. Not to mention that little baby thing. That was a nice score. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. So Chris, what do you do when you keep finding hard shell suitcases or nice suitcases? If they're name brands, definitely take them, sell them on eBay. If they are just generic, probably pass them up. Or if I can upgrade and then donate mine that I already have. So if I find something more high end, more better quality, I'll upgrade for free and donate my old one. Whoa, what do we got right there? Well, I thought it was for like a raffle giveaway and you like just like wheel it and it turns and you pick out a winning number, but I, th I mean, it could be used as that, but I think that's for mulch. I think you you turn up uh, soil or mulch. Uh, definitely not for cement, I don't think. But anyway, cool though, nonetheless. Circular spin thingamabobber. What has Johnny thrown away over here? Let's go see what Johnny's up to, huh? Right. Yes, toy guns. Just what I wanted. Is that trash? What's going on with that? Ooh, what's that down there? See, I can't tell. A lot of these folks, what they do is they uh, they throw bags down by the dumpster, and I'm not sure if it's just late at night or they don't want to touch it. I mean, there's there's a uh, sanitation uh, hand spray thing on my bopper, but uh, let me go around real quick. Anyway, we grab the pink backpack. It's full of cables and chargers, and you never know, there might be something good in there. So we just grabbed it, uh, put the guns in the top of it uh, to not look too shady in the middle of the day. But let's go ahead and creep on this and just see if there might be something in there. I don't know, man. See, that's the problem, folks, that's the problem. Sun is out, guns are out, cement is dry. It was downpouring earlier, but we remain optimistic. Alrighty, we got ourselves another fan, baby. But I think we're gonna wait for a tower fan for Mr. King Philip. That was still a really nice one. Man, it's turning into a beautiful day today. A solid, solid Nike haul right there. Wowzers. What's this lady doing? Is she bringing stuff down or is she bringing stuff up? I don't know where she's going with that stuff. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get back on the hunt. Can you believe that? 
I mean, absolutely gnarly. Okay, this is where that table was yesterday. Sorry, there was a woman right there. I think the table's actually still there, but I'm actually gonna go around this way, straight here, back to the Ikea. Anyway, grab both sets of Nikes. Absolutely fantastic. Just a couple spots of rain from obviously this morning on the top boxes, but these have those uh, awnings still on the top of these canisters. Oh, snaps. Ah, oh, snaps, there's the couch from yesterday, the Ikea haul. Okay, here's the couch. So let me get to that. Is that a TV behind there? Oh my goodness, hold on. I literally think, I think someone put a TV behind here. Ah! Okay, I think there's a TV right there. I'm gonna go in for a closer look, see if this thing is just dumped on rain, because we could sell this. Hey, how about that Ikea haul again? They're doubling it up. The couch is back. We had the beautiful desk. Sorry if I couldn't get better footage of that. As we can see there, a dark color, dark metal wrapped around. That's probably 70, 80 bucks brand new. Probably not that expensive. Might be more, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if that couch was Ikea as well. They had the picture, drawers, the dressers, all sorts of stuff. There's product today. There's product today, Johnny. Johnny's dumping everything. Thank you, Johnny. I don't know if I got this on footage yesterday because there were some people around, which let me see if there is any people. I don't see any people right now. Wow, okay, they put more stuff. See, you gotta come back if you only see, whoa, there's a bicycle too. And here comes somebody that didn't catch me filming yet. <laughs> I'm gonna check out that bicycle. Anyway, what I was saying was, if you see something like we did the couch just now, or that other action I just showed you, what you typically want to do is you want to come back the next day because they're putting the small items down first, the cushions, the drawers that are light, easy to carry, and then when they can have help, they're bringing the big dogs down. That's going to be like the big, big stuff. There's a couch there. Uh, that's the one we saw the dresser at yesterday. Let me roll around. Oh, that's a pretty little kitty right there. Okay, uh, let's roll around the, this. Yeah, sorry. I'm kind of excited I'm getting excited when I get excited I start getting the excitings I get the excitements I get the excitements let's go ahead and flash it on over here that wooden dresser is still there okay that's what I was talking about we showed that to you yesterday so let's go back this way and let's go wait no I didn't finish my story yet so what you have to do is you got to go back the following day to make sure you find the second portion of it I got a guy throwing away trash right up here so we're gonna go ahead and do one more circle We got product out here today, folks. We got product. Let's go ahead and post up here for a split second. We got a lazy boy, recliner, office chair, chairs, stuffed animals. What else we got down there? What is that, a stuffed animal? Is that a dog? <laughs> it's a stuffed animal dog, look at that. We call this the day of the office chair. The day of the office chair. Hey, what you want? You want an office chair? People just don't care. They out here living the dream, baby. I'm talking living the dream. When you Google the dream, guess what? You get an office chair. You get a picture of an office chair. You Google hashtag living the dream. Woo! Tell you what, all that sun in my eyes. I'm gonna need some. Alrighty, I saw someone creeping on this the other day. Let's see if they've got it. We got some people right here. No, it looks like it's still there. Hold on, I actually need to go back. I don't know if that was a television or if that was a headboard. Hold on one moment. I saw a woman looking at it yesterday. Beautiful table. That's what it was. Kind of looked like a television, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see, nice little side piece there. And uh, looks like an entertainment center and a beautiful little uh, square thing for like a patio table deck. Gorgeous pieces. We got a couple nice pieces right here. 
We got ourselves a couple of glass jars looking real good. Uh, looks like a nice slab of, uh, what is that, a slab of marble to the left. Uh, dog, kid, gate, baby gate to the right. Looking real good. That's a nice piece of slab of marble. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. I think I've heard of that brand. Something or and an Ikea TV tray. That might be an expensive vacuum. I do not know. Looks real nice. All right, it actually looks like an expensive brand. So we looked it up on eBay. I don't know the precise model number quite yet, but I think there's a parking spot right next to it. We'll go grab the model number or just throw it in my car. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Every day and every night, every